Okay, my friends, this is, uh, this is quite interesting. I was looking into volcanoes because I don't think they really understand volcanoes all that well. And this one here is, talks about hidden volcanoes pose the greatest threat to the world. That's what the scientists are saying today. Now, why are they hidden volcanoes? Well, they've been dormant for a long time, a lot of these, and now they're starting to come back to life. And why would that be? This falls into another discussion they're having about volcanoes and what causes the pressurization and what causes the bubbling and the bubbles. Well, let's try to figure that one out. And it's, it's not hard to figure out. Let's take a look at it. Okay, my friends, I kind of find this hard to believe they didn't understand this, but they're talking about they figured a hidden trigger behind volcanic explosions. Well, it's gases that are inside that create pressures and explode. New research reveals that volcanic magma can generate gas bubbles. <laughs> not only as the pressure drops during ascent, but also through interval shear forces. It, it's, it seems to me right now that all kinds of things are being investigated. They don't need to be investigated. Obviously what's going on there is a pressurization. It blows up, bubbles develop in the process of shearing all of that material. Yes, obviously. Shear driven bubbles can either trigger explosive acceleration, not necessarily, and, it, and they claim that, yes, that doesn't necessarily happen, but, you know, they just, what's going on here, they just don't realize the earth is biological, and what we have done is created nothing more than what happens with spontaneous combustion, where you take biological materials, normally it's oily rags. Oil is the key. Oil is the key, gas and oil. And you cover them where they can't get to the oxygen. They will just and explode. It's not an unknown event. And it just happens because the creatures that are in this, the, the um, you know, areas where they have these vol volcanoes, they have different organ systems. The different organ systems have a different amount of blood. The different amount of blood means a different amount of oils. The different amount of oils means the different explosivity. Okay, they're, they're trying to figure out what's going on, why these volcanoes are erupting. Well, with their work, the researchers provide a vital new piece of the puzzle when it comes to better understanding the process taking place inside active volcanoes. More precisely, assessing how volcanoes will erupt. In order to better predict the hazard potential of volcanoes, we need to update our volcano models, yes, and take shear forces in conduits into account. Conduits are nothing more than tubes. And they are the tubes that run down to the volcanoes, and they are biological. <laughs> All right, so I'm looking around here for volcanoes, and I come across this area here. And this, I'm, I believe, is the vein right here, and it's draining its blackness down, and it, it gets crusty, the, the black. The red just stays powdery, and this would be the artery. And it's just sort of running off down here and running down. Now, it's, they're separated by this yellow band here, which is extremely, and that's what happens in blood. You have the oxygenated, the deoxygenated, and the yellow is basically lymph. Anyway, that's, so I see this and I figure, well, do you, you want to look for uh, ab abnormal looking places. So normally, if you're going to have something that serious, you're going to have something else close to it that's providing it with the blood, which would be a heart or something. So I see this. So I come down here and start looking around here. 
And you see these things? Basically, they're like tubes. There's red, and then there's your black, and so forth. And the yellow is in here. This is this is basically the colors of 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 blood. And the black and the red, they they don't do not mix. The yellow will work with them both, but the the red and the black, no. Now what's going on up here? I think we got a tube up here. I would say that's a tube. And there's other ones here that look to be like, this could very well be a heart. As I started looking at all the colors here, this is this baby's got some serious colors. And I think that's a tube. And they have tubes and valves all over the place in the hearts. Now, let me bring it around. You see all the, these are the chemistry of blood. You see that? Explain that to me in any other possibility. Look, now you, you can see them very clearly as far as I'm concerned. That, to me, that's pretty damn clear. And when you get up close, you can see the borders and everything around it, which is, the tubes. You see it? Now all this stuff is running out of here, which, you know, that's just the nature of decomposition of something. Now this is way up high in the mountains, and it's probably real cold. Now why would that matter? Cold has to do with enzymes. And when I say enzymes, enzymes are the things that in your body that are the bacteria they create the chemistry to break down all the things in your body that, look at that flowing right out of there that's I believe you know And so anyway, the enzymes are another important thing to start considering because the earth is warming up. As the enzymes get warmer, they turn on. That's just what they do. And at a certain uh, temperature, it's too hot, they turn off. Well, right now, they were supposed to be kept cold. Not anymore. They're starting to turn on. And that's why we're getting these volcanoes erupting where they, nobody's expected them. They just had never expected them. You see that? You see how... This area here, this whole area here, how green, green, green it is. This was some kind of a creature's body going down here. And I, I, I got an idea what it is, but when you see things like this, clustered, they're organs, in my opinion, they're organs. Because bodies have the organs clustered around them. And they're going to go off just like they would if they were piles of wet, oily rags. All right, oil-soaked rags, and they don't have to be soaked. They're a combustion hazard because as the oil oxidizes, heat is released. If the heat is not dissipated, so it's covered up, like the ground covers up the bodies of these creatures, it can build up and ignite. There you go, volcano. Okay, I'm just going to shuffle through some of the things that I've been, you know, storing up here. This is July 2025. Another new hole in the ground at Norris Geyser Basin. Well, this is in Yellowstone, and this is what is underneath Yellowstone. These are lungs. These, I believe, are some of the organs that are right in this area. And, and I don't know if this was from a gigantic human-ish creature or what it was from, but it has two separate lungs. That's the throat coming up through here. This basically is the outcome of the throat. I believe this is a pancreas, I think, in that area there. And, and it's very obvious when you look at the... the um, uh, anatomical and this basalt 
Basalt is primarily carrageen, and car uh, collagens and carrageens, and these are the things that go on like this. Basalt. Then they got rhyolithic, they got transition, hydrothermal, that's the throat. And it's all right here. I, I've been keeping an eye on this because it's, uh, it's getting pretty interesting. They went and they did this study by using this 53,000 pound truck to and, and they found out what was on the ground was just what I showed you right here. It looks just like, just like a body stripped of everything but the internal organs there. And a new hole just opened up. And they, this seething heat coming out of there is the decomposition underneath, but it's got a way to escape. Now, is that enough? All right, still Yellowstone. We got some serious heat coming out of here. And these are um, sulfates, I believe. It's all kind of organic chemistry because it's organic decomposition. Okay, they're talking about a hidden magma cap discovered at Yellowstone National Park. And a magma cap is critical for preventing eruptions, explosionish eruptions at Yellowstone. Well, what is a magma cap? It covers, it's a cap, it covers the bubbling magma underneath. To me, as a biologist, geologist, I say that is the coating of the creature's body and the guts inside are, are festering and boiling and decaying and decom decomposing because the enzymes that control that chemistry are active now. And they haven't been active for a long time. And the more heat the earth absorbs, the more you're going to have those active enzymes and then you're going to have more chemistry and more chemistry leads to more gases, more eruptions. Okay, so they are, um, they're saying that they're starting to erupt where they never erupted before. So one volcano just did exactly that in November, just a month or two ago. The Gubi volcano in Ethiopia erupted for the first time in recorded history, which they're saying is 12,000 years. The first time. Why? Why? Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that, but I think it's decomposition under the ground. I'm not sure what we can do about it, but it would be good to at least understand what we're dealing with. All right, thank you.